Hi. <laughs> um, this is Christian, also known as the Lion Queen. I'm on today just to um give you guys a little bit of an insight into my testimony. I hope you guys are encouraged by this video. And if you like it, like the video, subscribe to the page. There's a lot more coming up. Um, and yeah, so let's get into it. So I am a 22-year-old college student from Syracuse, New York. That's where I currently reside. Um, and I often, you know, get nervous about telling my testimony, but um, the Bible says that we overcome by the blood and by our testimony. We overcome by our testimony. So if anybody can be inspired by this and encouraged by this and to know that God can do all things because he's that good I um, hope you are so as I said my name is Christian I'm 22 years old and my testimony starts when I was a baby a little baby I was one pound nine ounces born three months early but Really, I believe my testimony started in heaven because God knew that I, would, I had a purpose. And when I was born, I mean, I didn't know I had a purpose, but God sent me here for a reason. And, you know, a lot of times we get so caught up in what everybody else's purpose is, we don't realize the calling that God has on our lives. And so I'm excited about, you know, just doing what he's called me to do. And I also know that God has so much more purpose for me because I've almost <laughs> um, been hurt so many times, died so many times, so many car accidents I've gotten into. And I've realized, like, there's a reason why I never, I haven't died yet. There's a reason I was born in the year 1994. Um, there's a reason why I... Excuse me, guys. There's a reason why I... Um, excuse me, guys. There's a reason why I'm here. And that's all a part of my testimony. I've contemplated suicide plenty of times. Trust me. Many times, I really like told God, I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to be here. There's no reason for me to be here anymore. You know, depression is a real thing, y'all. And I know a lot of people, especially us as Christians, don't consider mental health to be a serious issue or to be an issue that we deal with. You know what? You know, just pray about it. And yes, prayer changes everything. Prayer changes everything that there is. Prayer works it has wonder working power but at the same time mental health is serious because this this is who say, what Satan does his MO is to work in your mind and then your mind and then put it all out in your soul and say you know what I don't want to live anymore there's no reason for me to be here he messes with our minds and he consider he constantly tells us that you're not good enough you don't have a purpose there's no plan for your life you should die well no one cares about you you should just go on and kill yourself and not live anymore there's no reason for you to be here but the grace given unto us and the holy spirit that lives on the inside of us constantly battles those messages that we get we have to constantly take those messages and bring them down and make them submissive to the word of god and always speak the word of god over those um messages that come into our mind and into our ear gates you know, and I really had to, like, really cast down all those imaginations that were not, who, that decided to make themselves lofty, or lofty above God, you know, and a lot of times we get so caught up in what's going on in this outside world that we don't consider what's going on inside of us, and, you know, there's been plenty of times I just said, Lord, I give up. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. 
at this point I really don't care if I can be completely honest and I would just say you know what God maybe maybe I'm not supposed to be here like suicidal thoughts were really plaguing my mind like I had transparency I had a knife in my room I like I would I wanted to cut myself I never really got the courage to do so but thoughts all these thoughts of like I want to die I don't want to be here anymore all these thoughts and you know thoughts and suggestions and those lies that come into us and tell us that we're not good enough that is not true it is a lie from the enemy and we have to cast all those thoughts down it's not true like you know all those things that just plague us up here and it stifles us and it makes us not want to do what the Lord has called us to do and I refuse to do that so um so Satan was attacking me spiritually mentally physically um I have polycystic ovarian syndrome which is an endocrine disorder um uterine disorder ovarian disorder um that plagues women um, I believe one of ten women in the United States um, has this disorder and when I was diagnosed I was diagnosed from a sonogram and when I was diagnosed I was told that I wouldn't be able to have children I would be glad too um, because the Lord does whatever he wants to because he's bad like that but um, this disorder really does you know um, cause you as a woman to feel non-feminine not as womanly because you do have an overflux of um testosterone rather than an estrogen so it makes you feel not as how can i put it not as much of a woman even though that's not true at all i have so many sisters we call each other sisters um obviously polycystic ovarian syndrome c-y-s-t-e-r-s um and it truly, you know, has made me, <coughs> excuse me guys, it's still winter here, um, it has made me, you know, lean more and depend more on God, um, and you know, so, I'm trying to <laughs> get this video up, but honestly, it's just, you know, God has just truly done some amazing things in my life. I've seen a lot of things. I've had a lot of people close to me pass. And just recently, the Lord reminded me that I've not really fully over it. It's been a decade and some change, and I'm still stuck on the past and um, how someone that I loved left me at a very young age. And um, they passed. And it's just, it's been a very difficult um, time for me. It's, it was really traumatic, actually. And, um, and I'm just, excuse me, guys. Um, I'm going cry. I'm just so thankful to God. For what he's done in my life and what he's continuing to do and i just pray that you guys rock with me um there's gonna be a lot of <sighs> a lot of videos going up a lot of things that the Lord has been downloading into me i'm a spoken word poet so i gotta write some more and i'm gonna share that with you guys and i love you all this is the lion queen signing off Mwah.